Hi, y'all. Just one old man in Texas coming at you again. I was given a magazine called The Judicial Watch. Now, this is sort of a watchdog publication. Some would say it was published by a conservative think tank. In reading it, there are many articles that give me pause. Sometimes I would hope that it is mistaken in its reporting. After doing some research, I find that most of what is written is based in truth or accurate sources. If you have never had a chance to see this magazine, I would highly recommend you check it out. It doesn't matter which side of the aisle you are on. Opposing views and information should always be reviewed and considered in forming your opinions. Just a thought from one old man. If you'd like to subscribe or like or share this video, please do so. Don't know if these are even been listened to, but it doesn't really matter. I'm having a good time, and it was suggested that this is what I was supposed to be doing. Guess I will just keep interjecting various thoughts that come to mind in the process of doing this. God gives wisdom and understanding. Reading the Bible is just one way to hear from God. Prayer and questioning him is another. Just make sure you listen to what the still small voice says to you. This reading is from the text of the New King James Version. Hey, if you don't like this presentation, turn the video off. Hey, now we go. Proverbs chapter 25. These also are Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings is to search out a matter. As the heavens for height and the earth for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from silver, and it will go to the silversmith for jewelry. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Do not exalt yourself in the presence of the king, and do not stand in the place of the great. For it is better that he say to you, Come up here, than that you should be put lower in the presence of the prince, whom your eyes have seen. Do not go hastily to court, for what will you do in the end when your neighbor has put you to shame? Debate your case with your neighbor, and do not disclose the secret to another, lest he who hears it expose your shame and your reputation be ruined. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver, like an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold is a wise rebuker to an obedient ear. Like the cold of snow in time of harvest, is a faithful messenger to those who send him, for he refreshes the soul of his masters. Whoever falsely boasts of giving is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearance a ruler is persuaded, and a gentle tongue breaks a bone. Have you found honey? Eat only as much as you need, lest you be filled with it and vomit. Seldom set foot in your neighbor's house, lest he become weary of you and hate you. A man who bears false witness against his neighbor is like a club, a sword, and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a bad tooth and a foot out of joint. Like one who takes away a garment in cold weather and like vinegar on soda is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For so you will heap coals of fire on his head, and the Lord will reward you. The north wind brings forth rain and a backbiting tongue and angry countenance. It is better to dwell in a corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. As cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man who falters before the wicked is like a murky spring and a polluted well. It is not good to eat much honey, so to seek one's own glory is not glory. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. And that was Proverbs chapter 25. Each proverb is accompanied by a different painting, so come back often. Today's painting is Kernels. It's an acrylic on canvas. A thanks go to Purple Cow Gallery for allowing the use of these artistic works. Check on the links below or copy and paste them to the browser for an additional look. Now, all paintings are available for sale at purplecowgallery.com, subject to previous sale, of course. You can see many of the paintings produced on Shelley Mars Art, a YouTube channel. Check them out at the links below. You have a good afternoon, and we will talk to you next time. Bye.